This PetroSkills Petro Academy skill module discusses principles of electrical power systems in oil and gas facilities, part two, at the core knowledge level. This section discusses why this is important. This module is part of a two-part series, Principles of Electrical Power Systems in Oil and Gas Facilities, Part 1, and Principles of Electrical Power Systems and Oil and Gas Facilities, Part 2. In order to get the full benefit, please take both Parts 1 and 2. Power and automation systems are critical elements of oil and gas installations. Without electricity, operations cannot function, opportunity is lost, and safety is impacted. Cost-effective, reliable, and robust designs are important to both capital projects and long-term operation of facilities. Understanding the core principles and applications of electrical systems as they relate to oil and gas facilities, engineers, designers, and operations staff can improve project and operational performance. Project managers and non-discipline engineers and designers benefit by being able to effectively communicate, manage, and anticipate project needs. Although many have taken electricity-related courses in high school and university, the invisible nature of electricity and the traditional academic means of teaching it leaves many without a practical understanding of how electricity really works and how the ideas are applied in real life. This series of modules is intended to provide a more practical understanding of the concepts using fluid dynamic analogies, which are more easily comprehended. Part one of the series is perfect for you if you want to know the difference between a KV and a KVA, a KVA and KW, or a KW and KWH. Learn why AC power is shaped like a sine wave, what power factor is, and how these impact equipment operation and cost. Part two of the series is perfect for you if you want to know how voltage and current demand impact the physical elements of cable specifications, equipment design, maintenance, and cost. Know the difference between a switch gear, switch board, and panel board. Be able to interpret a one-line, single-line diagram. And learn how power system equipment configuration can impact reliability and safety of power systems.